Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to update a Panasonic Lumix camera body or lens when using an Apple Mac. There are a couple of things which I suggest you carry out first to ensure a smooth and trouble free process. First of all, fully charge the camera battery and use a genuine battery in the camera for this process. Second of all, format a memory card inside the camera. Make sure to back up your pictures and videos before formatting as you will lose all the content on the memory card once you carry out the format. I will now show you how to format your memory card inside your Lumix camera. Once again, back up your pictures and videos before carrying out this process as you will lose all the content on the SD card. Insert the memory card into slot one of your camera if it has multiple slots and then switch on the camera. I've been presented with a question up on turning on my camera as I do not have a lens attached to my camera body. You can answer either yes or no to this question as it will not impact the update process. Next, press the menu button and go to the wrench icon. As you can see, mine's already on the format option. However, if it was on a different option, I would need to go to the second of the two wrench icons and find the format option, which is on page five on my camera. Next, I'm gonna tap or hit OK to confirm the format. Again, I'm being asked this question because my camera has multiple slots. I'm going to confirm to format slot one because that's where my memory card has been inserted into. And then once again, ask to confirm to delete all data from the memory card. You will lose everything on the memory card to so be sure to back up your images and videos or anything, any other data you have on this memory card. I'm going to proceed with the format. The memory card has now been formatted. You can now turn off the camera and remove the memory card from the camera and insert it into your Mac or your card reader. I've now inserted my memory card into my Mac or the card reader rather, and here it is. I'm not gonna do with anything to that at this moment. What I am going to do is go to the Panasonic support website where I can download the firmware for my Panasonic G9 camera. You need to select the appropriate firmware for your model. Accept the software license agreement. Make sure to read through all of it before you do. The download has now started. It's now downloading to my default downloads folder, which I believe is just the uh, downloads folder on the Mac. Once your download has completed, minimize or close the browser window and open Finder. I know that I've downloaded my firmware to my downloads folder. And there I go, I can see it up here. Now, we will need to unzip this actual folder once, and we can do that by just double clicking on the zipped file. If you do get any uh, messages as I've just received, just click OK to confirm that. What we now need to do is to copy this G9 underscore V27.bin file, B-I-N file, to our Lumix, um, to our uh, memory card rather. So I'm going to open the memory card window here and I'm going to copy the bin file. So that's the G9 underscore V27.bin file. I'm going to copy and I'm going to place onto the root of our memory card. What I mean by root is I'm not going to place this uh, .bin file inside any other folder. I'm just going to place it on the root of the memory card. So I'm just going to paste item. Just going to wait for the copy to finish. That is now finished copying to our memory card. Now we can eject our memory card. I'm going to close the window and then I'm just going to drag that. And that's our memory card 
which now has the firmware on it ejected from our system. Next up, I'm going to show you how to carry out the firmware process on your camera. What you will need to do here is to remove the memory card from your Mac or card reader and insert it back into slot one or the memory card slot of your camera. I have now removed the memory card from my Mac or card reader in my instance and reinserted it back into the camera body. And I will now switch on the camera body. If I was upgrading the, a lens on the camera via the camera body, I would have attached the lens now. But because I'm doing the body, I have no lens attached. I'm going to switch on my G9 here. Once again, I'm presented with a question because I don't have a lens attached. Again, you can answer either yes or no to this question if you do not have a lens attached. I'm going to answer no. And what we need to do now is on our camera, hit the play button. So this is the button that allows us to view our pictures. Just press that once. And because we have a new firmware on the memory card, the camera has picked that up, read that and realized that it can carry out an upgrade. So I'm now going to confirm the upgrade by selecting yes and then confirming that by just pressing the menu or OK button. As the message says, version is, or version up ongoing, do not operate any of the buttons on the camera. I suggest you just leave the camera alone as it is and let the upgrade process finish. Once the firmware upgrade is complete, the camera will automatically reboot and you can use the camera again as normal. I would suggest formatting the memory card before using it in, for in, this, uh, in your camera or any other camera. You have now completed the firmware upgrade process using an Apple Mac 